Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and for this video tutorial we'll be taking a look at the Digital Elements 1 pack that you can buy over at Blender Market. So we're going to see how to use and how to modify the, uh, the elements used in the pack. Let's begin, I have the file open and what we have here is the elements building up and then moving on freely. So this uh, this is the actual file and the good thing about this and I'm trying to build my uh, files and my goal is to to have some files that are pretty easy to use and modify. The elements here, the separate elements are all grouped instances so you can easily select and delete them and I'm going to hit the A key to select all and hit delete and delete them all. So how do you add an element on this empty layer to build the scene? Pretty simple, you hit shift A and add group instance. You can see it right here. And then you select the group instance that you want to add in your scene. Let's click this one. You can see the element is brought uh, as a, a single object because it is a group instance and now I can easily hit the S key to scale it down and let's hit Z, grab an X and move it on the X axis now the element uses the animation I'm going to hit play and you can see it building up and doing its thing okay now I'm going to let's add another one hit Shift A, add group instance hit delete to make all the group instances names appear and now let's let's select this one hit the S key to scale it down okay I'll hit 7 on my Mary keypad hit Z to grab and move it let's move it at about here hitting 0 for the camera perspective view and let's render and you can see that you're having both the elements here and you can add as many as you like and create your own uh, nice little infographics and uh, images and all. So let's uh, see the uh, separate elements. Every layer has an element and you can easily, as you can see, select the separate objects and modify them. We have for example here the text objects and the text used in the digital elements one is not applied to mess and all so you can easily hit the tab key let's change this 07 here to uh, let's say 06 okay hit the tab key again and you can do all sorts of things to modify the object I'm going to split my 3D view okay and make the up the upper 3D view into a graph editor alright and I'm going to select this object here and this object uses some Z rotation noise. Let's take a good look. Okay. And now if I hit the N key while the cursor is over the graph editor, you can see the properties for the noise. Let's take a look. Okay. So for the uh, Z rotation for this object here, and you can see I have selected these dots here. And we have the scale set to 80, and the strength set to 3, and everything else is pretty set to default. So you can easily, let's play to take a look. So you can see how this rotates, you can easily change the speed of the rotation by bringing the scale down, let's set it from 80 down to 20. And let's hit play to take a look. And as you can see now it rotates a bit more quickly. You can also increase the strength, let's set it up to 4. And you can see that it now rotates even, even more faster. Okay. Now you can, of course, uh, select an object and move over to the materials and what I've done for the materials is that I have some 
materials are uh, used by a lot of objects so you're having these little numbers here and let's uh, see we have the circle blue for this one and let's say that we want to change the hues color the materials are uh, shadeless pretty uh, simple shadeless materials if you want to change the color or the material of an object I would suggest hitting the uh, little icon here to create a unique material for the specific object and I'm going to call this one, let's call it circle underscore red and I had the caps lock on ok never mind I'm going to change the hues color, let's set it to a nice strong red so now if you render this one you're having the Dash is here rotating faster than before and you also have a changed material and of course you can modify uh, all the elements here you can as I said before you can edit the text hit the tab key type in whatever you like and I've just typed some uh, mumbo jumbo here nothing nothing specific just a bunch of letter of letters to have something appearing you can easily change it to whatever you like you can select an object and delete it and you can select an object and modify the animation for example we have this line and this line uses some noise on the x-axis and as I did before you can change the scale you can change the strength of the noise and the strength is the amount of movement or rotation you are applying to a graph and let's change this one to 8 ok and this line will now uh, move on a broader motion on the x-axis and this is it what we also have is the objects building up and it takes 45 to 60 frames for its object to build up and you can easily modify the building up animation since uh, I've selected the frame here since the build uh, animation is for most of the objects, the build modifier we have the start set to 1 for this one and the length to 30 and that means that the folder, the frame here will be built up in 30 frames and if you want to change the build you can st either start uh, on a different frame let's start from frame 30 for this one and let's increase the length set it up to 60 of course you can do that on every uh, object let's see now we have the frame here building up from frame 30 to frame 60 and that's pretty much it, you can uh, modify the objects we have some arrays here and they move we have just a few keyframes here and there and pretty much everything else works with the noise uh, modifiers and the object modifiers so this is it, this is Dimitri Christou I really hope that you do like the, the digital elements pack 1 then thanks for watching.